This video you're watching now was just filmed yesterday. Today is the, we've got a date here somewhere. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. So you are watching this on the 5th of May. That's how current it is. I don't think I've ever been this current before in my life. There's a PB. PR for you guys in the US. In this video guys, I'm going to be detailing the steps you have to go through, all the documentation, the costs and the time involved. So hang around, that's what's coming up. Hopefully this is going to be my final spouse visa uh, video. Well it is, I've got it. So for those people who aren't interested in the visa, uh, tomorrow's video I'll be showing you around the restaurant and at night when it's going give you a, a more of a look it's been a while since I've shown you guys around the restaurant and just what I do through the day to maintain this place so um, if you're not into visas or you're not looking for a spouse visa maybe one day you will be if you're not into it see you in the next video thanks for tuning in but now I've lost something I've got to go get it right, I'll be back It's going to cheer through the power. All right, guys. How you's going? I have finally got it. I have finally got my 12-month multi-entry spouse visa to Laos. And an ID card, a stay permit card is what they call it over here. My last video I know was about an uh, update on my visa. That was a, f a couple of months ago on our previous trip, just highlighting the troubles I was having getting the Laos visa because there is a lot of steps that you have to go through to actually get it. And when you go to Foreign Affairs first applying for it with your documentation, they do not tell you all the other follow-up steps. They will just give you uh, a visa validation document to get stamped at border security coming back into the country and that is just a 30 day single entry visa in that time you have to go to step two which is to the police headquarters and get the not even up i've lost it i've lost it anyway and get your ID and your stay permit. So bear with me, I'll just get all this shit sorted. All right, make sure it's focusing on my dial. Okay guys, before I get started, about this visa. To be eligible, the main step, you need to be married to a Laotian. I don't like the word Laotian. You need to be married to a Lao person. They are Lao. In the description below, I'm going to give you a link to the Laotian Times where it has all the documentation required and the three main steps uh, to apply and secure this. So, link is below guys. I'll just be reading the documentation off here and it is exactly what myself and Nini had to have to, uh, to go to these places and secure this visa. Anybody who's been a subscriber of my channel for a little while now has known the troubles I've had securing this. And mainly, it's it's not that hard. It was mainly just not knowing that there is more steps and then there's more because they're not telling you everything. We've been through all that and I'll be able to help you out and just lay it all out so you know exactly what to do and what you've got to do to secure this. All right, as of the 1st of August 2018, up until then, if you were married to a Lao person, you could not live here without a, a tourist visa or a business visa or an investment visa. Unless you had business or investment here, you would have been doing your visa run once a month or extending that to three months but still having to do a visa run so of the 1st of august 2018 a new visa came in called the spouse visa and it is a multi-entry visa what you need to do first guys like i said you need to be married to a Lao person before i go on any further 
there has been some people asking what a visa a spouse visa looks like I'll show you what a visa to Laos looks like a normal visa my passport is full of them they are just big ones like that that just keep you know it, it takes up a full page that's the middle that's a cardboard see little stamps you'll fit eight to ten stamps on a page but the Laos visa no big one so you can see how handy it is getting a 12 month entry uh, multi entry visa once you got that sticker you can come in and out as many times as you like and they're not using up any more pages of your passport it's a pain in the ass getting your passport renewed the passport you are applying for is an SP B3 and once you do get it converted to the 12 month multi entry visa it is an STB3 once it is converted to a 12 month multi entry visa it's still under the SPB3 but that is a stay permit for Laos that's what you will get from the police station. Look at that handsome unit. No, I don't own a suit. That's just photoshopped. Uh, and it's got all your details there. Just a card. Whenever you come in and out of the country from now on, once you have the spouse visa, you have to give border control that also with your passport. And I got a question from uh, Mittens. What is my license? Yeah, it's an international license you can get from NRMA in Australia, AAA or AATA in the US, it costs you about 20 bucks, don't even have to do a test or anything, take your passport photo in there, give them the 20 bucks, they will give you an international license and that is accepted anywhere in the world. Maybe there's a few tight ass countries out there but it actually says on the website it's accepted worldwide. Yeah look at that, it's got the list of all the countries it is accepted and that's my noggin from a couple of years ago looking pretty rough so international license got nothing to do with this video just wanted to show you another passport photo of mine right I uh, finally get on to this the three main steps zoom back in on me that's it keep up to it guys come on three main steps the first step you will be required to go to the foreign affairs uh, foreign Affairs is just here in Lao. Going there, you will need these documents. Obviously, you are married to a Lao person. One copy of a Lao marriage certificate. I'm not writing these in the video because I'm giving you the link below. I told you that. Um, a copy of your marriage certificate. Two, a letter of proposal or a request of what you want. So a letter of proposal, just write a letter of that you want to apply for the spouse visa. Three, a copy of the family book or ID card of the Lao citizen. The person you are married to, the Lao person, you need a copy of their family book or a copy of their ID card. Get both, it's gonna be easier. Four, a certificate of residence signed and sealed by the village authority, who is the village chief. You need a permanent address in Laos and the family book will show that and it needs to be signed and sealed by the village chief and five a copy of the passport of the foreign spouse that's you so a copy of that once you have all that documentation take it to foreign affairs show you the picture where it is and they will give you a visa authorization I think I called it a visa validation document earlier on it's a visa authorization once you have that, you have to leave the country and then come back in through border control. This visa authorization has only 30 days on it. So if you are out, outside of the country and your Lao spouse has organized this for you, make sure they have sent it to you with plenty of time to get back into the country before it uh, expires. That was the first attempt that I failed at. We did not know that it, it had an expiry day on it. It's only 30 days, guys. Once you come into the country through border control and they have stamped it, you now have a spouse visa. A single entry, 30 day spouse visa. No different than a single entry tourist visa. In that 30 days, you need to, this is part two, 
you need to go to the police headquarters and get your stay permit. When you go to police headquarters, you need virtually the same documentation that you just took to foreign affairs. One, your letter, a, another letter of proposal or request to register for a stay permit. All that is, is just a statement requesting what you want, you know, and just signed and dated. Two, a certificate of residence signed and sealed by the village authorities. You already have that, need a copy of that. Three, copy of your family book, ID card, the Laos citizen. You already have that. A copy of your passport, foreign spouse. That's yours, you already have that. Five, a copy of the spouse visa. That is the visa you just got stamped at border control. You need a copy of that to take to them. And six, a copy of the certificate of marriage. One copy. And seven, passport photos. You need three photos at three before. They're the little bit bigger ones. Take all this documentation into the headquarters. It's just up here, yep. And go to the Office of Foreign Administration for processing. The fee there is 1.2 million kip. You will leave the police station without a stay permit. They will ask you to come back in three days. So you've paid them, you've left all the documentation you've taken in there, and they ask you to come back in three days. So you have to allow yourself time. Don't leave it to the last week on your, on your visa. Just touch the screen, make sure my scone is still in focus. All right, moving on, guys. We've been to the police station headquarters. Yep, we've paid our one put. It actually says on the website I'm giving you 1.32 million, 1,320,000 kip. Um, go there with the expectations of paying that, but Nini and myself were only asked for 1.2 million. Don't know why, it's got 1.32 million here. So what's that, an extra 120,000 kip, which is an extra 20 Australian dollars. You're already paying 200, so it's not much more. Okay, once you've gone back to the police station, you've picked up your pretty little stay permit. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. You have a stay permit to stay in Laos but you still only have a 30 day single entry spouse visa. You, you need to go back to foreign affairs now. This is the third step, the one year multi-entry visa. The documentation you will be required to take there, a copy of your marriage certificate. Two, a letter of proposal, another letter requesting what you want done, what you want from them. Three, a copy of the family book or ID card, of the Laos citizen, your spouse. Four, certificate of residence signed and sealed by the village authority, village chief. And five, a copy of the passport of the foreign spouse. So they are identical to what they wanted at stage one when you originally went to foreign affairs. What they do not tell you on that, uh, on the website is, you will need your passport also. You'll take all those there with your passport. They will collect, stating here on the website, 1,320,000 1, kip, another 220 20 Australian dollars, or 160, 70 US dollars, around that. Again, Nina and myself were only asked for 1.2 million kip. I don't know whether that's a typo or somebody stuffed up at Foreign Affairs. Okay, you just turned yourself off. All right, once you've got all your documentation, you take it there, they will ask you for the payment, 1,320,000 kip, and they will ask you to come back in five days. You will be leaving your passport there also for five days, so you're not going anywhere in that five days. Again, like I said, it was three days at the police headquarters, You let um, before you could go back there, and then five days at foreign affairs. So there's eight days. That's that's where I run out of time on my second attempt to get my Lao spouse visa, 12 months. After five days, you go back there, and all they do is give you back your passport. And then you flip to the back of it, and you will have 
your spouse 12 month multi entry visa in there. That is it. If you abide by this and go through the steps, you'll have all your documentation. If you already have your documentation, it could should cost um, should take you no longer than about 14 days. It took me a few bloody months. Only because, like I said, it wasn't laid out in front of us all the different steps we needed to do. I've gone through all that bullshit and here it is for you guys. You know, so get your documentation, everything in order, go there, and it shouldn't take you any more than 14 days, guys. Um, what else do we need to know? Okay, like I said, it is a multi-entry visa, and I am under the impression that once your 12 months is up, you just go back in and renew it. I'm really hoping that's all you'll have to do. I'm just hoping we don't have to go through all these same steps again. But when you do the maths on it, it is cheaper to do this, the spouse visa way, rather than extending your tourist visa and doing visa runs once every three months and going through all the bullshit. Um, I think I've just about covered it all, guys. Give yourself plenty of time when going to these places, foreign affairs and the police headquarters, the chief of village and things like that. It's not like just ducking down to a government office during your lunch break here. Uh, there was one day there, me and Nini went to the police headquarters, it was at 10.30. We were still going at 3.30. You know, you'll go there, you'll sit down, you'll wait, you know, you have to pay this, you know, you've come back out. It's, it, that is just louse, you know, it's, there's a lot of bureaucratic red tape, but that's just how it is here. So give yourself plenty of time. It's not something you're going to get done in your half hour break, believe me. You know, so uh, as a as a saying in Laos, both and young. You know, it's just no worries, just all's good. Just just go with the flow. When you are over here, you really do have to just let everything go and just go with it. You know, as I've said before, if it doesn't happen today, it'll happen tomorrow. You know, and these places, you don't make an appointment. You you just show up, you get in line, and you wait. It's the same as taking your car to get service. You don't ring up and make a booking. You just show up and then sit in the lounge room watching TV, drinking water on their free Wi-Fi, just waiting for it to get done. That is how most things operate in Laos. Very laid back, very chill. Nobody's in a hurry, so understand that jumping up and down and having a hissy fit is not going to change anything i hope this has been helpful to you guys i know if i had known all this before i attempted to get the spouse visa it would have saved me a hell of a lot of time so um i hope it helps you guys out um for those new to the channel not all my videos are like this uh flick back through some of them you know, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell because you will not miss out on any upcoming videos. I've um, been trying to get my shit together. At the moment, my uploads are always at 10.30 Australian time. So Google that. Look how far or behind you are at 10.30 a.m. Australian time. And I've been... I really want to get at least three over the weekend up in that time. It's always Friday, maybe a Saturday, and then a Sunday and Monday. So there's four. I just counted four. I did say three. Sometimes I won't have three. And sometimes on a Wednesday at 10.30. So I'm aiming at four to five videos a week at the moment. They, that ain't always going to happen, but a video will always be up at 10.30 a.m. Australian time. And 90% of the time, it will be a Friday, a sa Sunday, and a Monday. Wednesdays and Saturdays aren't so locked in, but when I'm on a good roll, they'll be in there. I've, I've done it a couple of times before. 
Not much of a life outside of editing, but I've done it. What's coming up tomorrow? Uh, just earlier this week, I maintained some of this lawn. Uh, took you through, had a look at the restaurant, and later that night, showed you what the restaurant is like while it's up and running. So uh, stay tuned tomorrow for that, guys. And I still have a lot of other videos that I've been filming while I've been here. I've already I've been here for two months. In that two months, I've been trying to ca catch up on my previous trip. Um, it's just just the way it happens. It is so hard to stay current with the videos I'm doing, especially the traveling videos because as we're traveling we're filming a lot we're staying in a hotel we don't always have good wi-fi and if i'm out traveling i'm out videoing i'm not staying in the hotel room editing you you know what i mean yeah yeah some of my videos do get a little bit behind but for the next month while i'm here if i do any traveling or anything that i don't think is specifically current information that you require I will be editing that when I go back for my three months in Australia but anything like this video and is specific to what's happening now I'm going to be uploading for you guys so um, for the next month I'm here I will be answering any questions you guys have <coughs> for me just hit me up on YouTube maybe you want me to make a quick video for you before I go back to Australia we can do that yeah yeah I uh, got a new mount for the GoPro. That's a video coming up too, so you're gonna have to check that out. What else, what else? Yeah, we, we did a bit of traveling, but I'm not gonna tell you where, because you'll be waiting for that video and it might be a little while, so. Um, no, anything current in Vienna you wanna know about now, let us know. It was like the Be My video a couple of weeks ago, the Lao New Year. <laughs> That was current sort of content, so I pushed the the oldest stuff from my previous trip aside and whacked that video in here because what's the point of putting a New Year's video up when it's not New Year's? You know what I mean, eh? Yeah. Okay, guys, um, to my long-time subscribers, thank you very much. You guys have been awesome and very patient with my all over the place sort of shit so a big thumbs up to you guys and all the the Lao people who have just subscribed lately because of my Lao new vi video Lao be my video Sokti be my Yudi Mahang Thank you very much. A lot of Laos video coming, Laos videos coming up for you guys and everybody else. So um, I'm going to end that video here. I think I've dribbled enough shit for today. Um, if I've forgotten anything on this spouse visa, I'll whack it in the in the description box below. But I think I've pretty much covered everything. You know, the cost, the initial cost for step one is 30 US dollars. Um, 240,000 kip. Step two is 1.32 million kip. Uh, batteries flashing at me. Step three, 1.32 million kip. So you get out of it for less than 400 US, less than 500 Aussie. Battery's about to shit itself. It's going to die on me. Thanks, guys. You've been awesome. See you later.